scheduled for one fall, and it has a 30-minute time limit. Making his way to... Excuse me, MD, we got a little business to take care of here. First of all, I want those church-burning racists, the twin demons of deception, to come down here and join me in the ring. You know, you went on, even though I told you, and you tried to introduce and announce the fact that this man, K. Crush, the single greatest African-American athlete on planet Earth, was gonna wrestle in some kind of steel cage. Well, I'm gonna tell you something right now. K. Crush is a WWF superstar, and he's not gonna wrestle in any cage with that animal ruckus. You know, everybody's been telling us ruckus is angry, ruckus is mad. Well, I'd be mad too if my mother was a $5 crack whore that everybody called planners because she's had more nuts in her mouth than a squirrel. So I'm telling you right now, what I've got right here is an injunction, and this came directly from Jim Ross, the head talent coordinator of the World Wrestling Federation. This man is under contract, and he is not, and I mean there is no way in hell gonna get in any cage match and wrestle ruckus. Bill, you know more about legalities than me. Does it look legal? I don't trust this man. Well, I don't know if everyone knows, but as of yesterday, um, NWA Worldwide and Wildside became officially development territories for the World Wrestling Federation. This is the truth. Um, in fact, several new people, Flash Flanagan, several others will be getting development contracts soon. Under the contracts as they're signed, the WWF has the right to cancel any wrestling booking. However, he is booked to be here this evening. He is booked to be here this evening, and I don't care if he has to come out and sit in the crowd. By God, he's gonna appear and do something here tonight. That's taken care of. They, they know there's not gonna be a cage match, so we don't have to worry about it. I'll tell you what, I know everybody in this building paid their money to see the man, K. Crush, you know, he is the professional wrestling, what Jesse Owens was to the Olympics, what Jackie Robinson was to baseball, and what Muhammad Ali was to boxing. He is Randy Moss and Tupac Shakur all rolled up into one, and there is nobody going to be disappointed, because I'll tell you what, me and K. Crush will come back out here later tonight, and we got something special for you. How about that? Well, this is, Steve, I'm sorry, I can't do, well, you know what? I may be able to do a little bit more. You talk to Jim Ross, right? I got a couple other phone numbers. You got, you promise you're hanging around to do something this evening, right? But you're gonna appear this evening. Steve, if you can go handle commentary for a second, I need to go get my cell phone. I got a call to make. I'll be right back in a little bit. Jeff, this issue has been between me and you since day one, and if I had to spend every dime I've got, this man will face ruckus tonight. I'll tell you what, ever since the first time he came in this building, you've tried to have him locked up, Chance Williams. You had the police drag him off in handcuffs and take him to jail, and now you want to lock him in a steel cage. Well, that's not going to happen. This man is a star. He is the greatest thing that anybody's ever seen in this building. He will come back out here later tonight and possibly perform a hit single off his new CD coming out this Christmas on Cash Money Records. So call your record stores and make sure you know it. But there will be no wrestling match, and there damn sure will be no cage match.